For the past three months, I've been busy working behind the scenes. Researching. So you're telling me people will buy them? Designing. Testing. This one feels nice. Negotiating. Okay, but I need you to come back and do this merch video. For the last time, I don't wear clothes! All leading to CaptainSawsMerch.com You see, YouTubers don't actually make our own merch. Like, I don't have a warehouse full of clothes, or a staff of employees, or printers that are worth tens of thousands of dollars. We just usually partner with print-on-demand companies who handle all this stuff for us. Which can be scary, because if they provide a bad product, or if they screw up somehow, then not only does it look bad on us, but there isn't really anything that we can do about it. We're not in control of things, and you know, I quickly realized through all my testing that most of these companies are, are really just focused on mass-producing stuff with very little attention to quality. I ended up partnering with Spreadshop, not only because the clothes they print on were the nicest, and because the people that I spoke to there were very helpful, but because they have a customer satisfaction guarantee. And this is the most important thing, this is the biggest reason why I wanted to make this video, was to make sure every one of you know that if you ever buy my merch and you're not 100% happy with it, contact Spreadshop. They have an easy to fill out form on their site and they'll make things right. Now, I don't want to make it seem like I expect there to be problems. Like, obviously, I didn't spend thousands of dollars of my own money buying samples from dozens of companies not to pick the best possible option. But at the same time, you know, in a world where people make mistakes, things happen all the time when it comes to buying stuff online. I just want to make sure that you guys are taken care of. Now, I know a whole bunch of people missed out on the U2's figure that I offered last year, because they sold out in like three days. Which, by the way, if my house burns down, I need to run in and rescue this, because even I can't get another one. And that's why CaptainSauceMerch.com is not going to be a limited time thing. It's a permanent store. I do plan on like removing designs as I introduce new ones. I want to keep refreshing things, introducing new stuff. So if there's something there that you don't like for now, maybe something you do like will come out in the future. Or when Spreadshop starts offering new products, I'll be able to introduce stuff like embroidered hats or maybe shirts with pockets. Or they've, they've got a list of stuff that they're thinking about doing in the future that I'm excited for. But point is, there will always be be CaptainSauceMerch.com. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have cut the shipping label off the box they sent my clothes in just to make this dumb joke, because then I'd be able to tell you how long the clothes took to get to me, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that my stuff was printed the next day after my order, and then it took maybe a week or two to get to Canada, so just to give you guys a rough idea, I, I should fix all that. As excited as I am to be able to offer a load of different shirts and backpacks and hats, I'm not going to make this like a 20 minute long video showing you every different item that's being offered, but I do want to talk about a few of the things that I think will be the more popular sellers. Obviously, there's the t-shirt. This is Spreadshop's premium t-shirt, which is definitely a whole lot better than the Gildan, Hanes, Fruit of the Loom junk that a lot of companies print on. You know, like those 12 pack of blank shirts that you can get in Walmart in a bag for like 10 bucks. People actually use those for merch. It, it blew my mind. Like, they've all got really long sleeves and baggy armpits and high collars, but I gotta say, I, I like this shirt. You know, the collar is nice, it fits nice on my chest. I I think the only reason I wouldn't necessarily call it premium is that it's only a medium weight shirt. So if you got a size that was like a little bit snug on you, then you might be able to see nips, you might be able to see belly button, but fortunately, their sizing charts are wildly accurate. Like sometimes I'm a small, sometimes I'm a medium, but using their sizing charts I always got what fit me perfectly. Their hoodies, however, is where premium seems to actually mean something. Like, this is the nicest pullover hoodie I've ever owned. Like, just so many small touches, like the fact that the strings are super thick and contrasting in color. Or that they got a little crisscross collar and the hood sits a little bit higher on your neck, almost like you're wearing a scarf. And the sleeves are nice, and like, it's just so many small things that make it feel like you're not wearing something that your dad would have worn when mowing the lawn in the late 90s. It's much more modern, and it's like, it's thin enough to wear indoors, like I could walk around in the mall and not be sweating, but at the same time, I could go outside and do yard work because my dad won't do it for me anymore and I, I won't be cold. 
There's also this color block version of things where the sleeves are a different color and the inside of the hood is a different color and it's even got a, uh, a phone pocket. I thought that was clever. Everything is offered in a bunch of different color options. Sizes range from like kid sizes, small, medium, and all the way up to 3XL or 5XL, depending on the item. So like even if you're a bit of a beefier boy or a burlier broad, like, I wanted to make it so that hopefully everybody can have something that they'll enjoy. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I feel like I could go on for hours talking about all the stuff that I learned about print on demand and all the trouble that I went through, like printing off color swatches so that the color accuracy on your screen is hopefully close to the color accuracy on your shirt and all this other stuff, but I'll just leave it at that, okay? If you want to get some merch, go to CaptainSauceMerch.com. CaptainSauceMerch.com? CaptainSauceMerch.com! 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 Why the hell is the back of my chair so dusty? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna clean it. You know what isn't dusty? Brand new store, CaptainSauceMerch.com!